Hey, welcome back to AJM Learn CSS Hacks. So today we're going to talk about um, targeting a specific link in the navigation. Sometimes I want something to stand out a little bit more, so a different color, um, like the login button. So I'll show you how to do all of that. Uh, so in the post, I start with the basic code for changing the color of one of the nav links. So I put a note in the post, but this this number here is what's telling the code, you know, which navigation link to change the color of. So if you wanted it to be the third link from the left or the fourth link from the left, so that's how you move that around. You could use this code several times and, you know, make all of them different colors. I mean, you can target it however you would like. Um, like all CSS here, I've just shown you um, the color change, um, but you could go as far as you want with this. You could do, uh, you know, you can make it uppercase, you could make it bold, you could change the font. Um, so you could add any CSS you want inside the brackets if you wanted to make other changes. But I find that the color is really the one that I lean toward using the most. Um, similarly to, you know, if you wanted something to stand out more, here's some code on how to make one look like a button. So obviously Squarespace has, you know, our built-in built -in button over here, but sometimes I, it, I want like another button. I want something else to stand out. So uh, same, you change the number here. We'll just change which one it's targeting. And then of course you'll have to play around based on your site on like, you know, font size and letter spacing. I don't think I have letter spacing in here, but you could add letter spacing, um, you know, and, and try to get it to match what your navigation looks like or whatever. Um, you can change the border. I mean, I have this as an oval shape, but if you like square buttons, um, whatever. So just like any CSS, you can change colors and backgrounds and the padding of the button if you wanted the button to like look a little bigger. Um, and then you might need to change the border radius, you know, make it a little more rounded. So yeah, um, pretty cool. So that is that. And then lastly, the one I find I need the most is to change the login, the color of the login link if you're using like member areas. Um, so this specifically targets the login. You can't use that like int child to find this. Um, so you have to use the separate piece of code to target the login. The same with anything else. As long as you have this correct and we're targeting the right thing, you can add whatever you want inside of the CSS. You could even go back and use you know, the rest of this code and, you know, make this look like a button. And of course, you know, style it as needed. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoy it.